Dear students, welcome to Bluepen Online. Shall we begin? Please use headset, pen and paper to take notes. Here you go. Please let's know your feedback after class. now we are entering into uh, the same topic clinical significance of free radicals but the seventh one okay yes okay. and honors shock related injury mm -hmm. here release of free radicals from phagocytes that damage membranes by lipid peroxidation today we are entering into that topic lipid peroxidation okay yes yes that is the actual mechanism takes place in our body by the action of free radicals yes it will peroxidation of membrane that will damage membrane then at that time they release leukotriene leukotriene okay. from platelets and proteases from macrophages yes sir. okay all these factors cause increased vascular permeability and resulting in tissue edema how yes. this tissue edema forms that is the main thing yes ma'am okay after yes. a shock related injury how the tissue edema occurs actually yes. it is by the action of free radicals from phagocytes that damage membranes by lipid peroxidation because they release leukotrienes from platelets and proteases from macrophages yes ma'am hmm? all the uh, factors can cause increased vascular permeability resulting in tissue okay yes then uh, next uh, in case of skin diseases some sort of skin diseases we use some plant products it is known as sorel sorelen sorelen p silent sorelen that they are administered in the treatment of soria and leucoderma so okay what is leucoderma uh mam the white patch will come white patch okay due to the deficiency of which compound leucoderma occurs uh, i don't know mam <laughs> one amino acid metabolism huh tyrosine plus products formed from tyrosine oh, okay okay yes what is that product melanin uh, you heard about melanin yes ma'am yes ma'am yes okay uh, due to the deficiency of melanin synthesis that will leads to albinism leucoderma yes. okay yes. okay so oreos is very familiar yes ma'am okay so some plant products like sorelens are administered in the treatment of psoriasis and leucoderma when the drug is applied over the affected skin and then irradiated by uv light that produce one singlet oxygen what is singlet oxygen uh or singlet oxygen free radical free radical yes ma'am okay so we apply medicine for its uh, disease but that application of medicine that pr produce free radicals yes ma'am okay that's the point okay then next is carcinogenesis and treatment free radicals produce dna damage and accumulated damage that leads to somatic mutations and malignancy cancer is treated by radiotherapy and irradiations that produces ros okay that we yes. already discussed what happens at the time of cancer treatment okay uh, yes. that free radicals are produced that causes dna damage and this damage that leads to mutations and malignancy Yes, cancer is treated by radiotherapy that irradiation produces ros ros means uh ros the, is ros the, uh, ros uh, re, 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 what is it reactive what is reactive oxygen species okay what is this uh, free radical can you define free radical uh it is um 
that contain only un, one or more one unpaired electrons in the outer orbit oh, that contain unpaired electrons okay yes ma'am then the tenth point tenth clinical significance of free radical that is aging process okay yes ma'am uh -huh. Okay. Then reactive oxygen metabolites play a pivotal role in degenerative brain disorders such as Parkinsonism, Alzheimer's, dementia, and multiple sclerosis. Then yes. the cumulative effects in free radical injury that cause gradual deterioration in aging process also. Okay, okay. so yes. this uh, uh, which are the areas that is connected with free radicals? Almost we discuss ten areas. Okay. Yes. Respiratory system, visual area, aging process, immunology, and uh, what happens at the time of cancer treatment and all types, skin treatment and all things. So we discuss almost like ten different areas affected by free radicals. Yes, okay? sir. yes. Sir. About free radicals, you can see this uh, general picture. Okay, abdomen that is affected, gastric ulcer, fatty liver coast, and in case of air tube. That causes bronchial asthma, inhalation injury, in eye cataract, chest, cardiac infarction, high BP, arrhythmia, then brain, Parkinson's disease, Alzheimer's disease, multiple sclerosis, age, spots, wrinkle stacking, lower abdomen, kidney failure, uremia. Okay, yes, then all together, body aging, diabetes, allergy, rheumatic disease, cancer, and arteriola, arterial sclerosis. Okay. Yes. Yes, this is an overview of the radical toxicity. Yes, ma'am. Okay. Then now we uh, complete almost clinical significance of free radicals and enter into the basic mechanism occurs by the yes. action of free radicals. Mm? Yes. Sir. We repeat that word again and again. Which is that word? Well, peroxidation. Sandhya. Lipid peroxidation. Okay. Yes. Hmm? So uh, it's very important mechanism. Uh, so keen attention is required. Okay. So yes. what is this lipid peroxidation? Free radical induced peroxidation of membrane lipids that occurs in three stages. That is initiation, propagation, and termination. There are three phases. Uh, like our application transcription. Yes, we discuss initiation, elongation, termination. Here it is different. Instead of elongation, it is uh, this uh, prop uh, propagation. Propagation. The word is propagation. Okay. So what happens in case of initiation phase? What happens? Hmm? Uh, Sandhya, are you okay? Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Slow voice. What happens? Uh, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> okay, uh, so initiation phase, what happens? Polyunsaturated fatty acid. We know cell membrane that is that contain polyunsaturated fatty acid. Okay, that is present in cell membrane and easily destroyed by this process peroxidation. Okay. Yes, ma'am. We don't know what is peroxidation. Now we are enter into peroxidation. Mm -hmm. Yes, ma'am. So initiation phase, primary event is the production of carbon sense radical or lipid peroxide radical by the interaction of a PUSA molecule with free radicals. Okay, just okay. imagine one free radical produced in our body due to some radiation or chemical agents or anything else. Mm -hmm. Then free radical enter into our body. Yes, ma'am. Okay. Yes, ma'am. Hello. Hello. That free radical acts on polyunsaturated fatty acid. This PUSA present in lipid membrane, all membranes. Yes, ma'am. Yes, okay. ma'am. That lipid membrane containing polyunsaturated fatty acid, the free radical acts on it. Okay. okay. And that produces that initiation phase, the primary event is production of two uh, there is a chance for the production of two free radicals two free radical that is carbon centered radical and lipid peroxide radical okay, okay. yes you can see from this uh, reaction the arrow is in different direction uh, don't worry first of all rh okay rh yes. that act with any one of the free radicals 
we consider this is polyunsaturated fatty acid rh that react with a free radical yes, and sir. that forms there is a chance for the formation of carbon centered free radical r dot we yes. always express free radical in which form dot net uh, dot it is dot okay so here yes. Uh, PUSA RH that indicate PUSA that reacts with OH. We know hydroxyl. It's a free radical. Yes. Yes, yes ma'am. Hello. Hello. Yes, ma'am. Hello, Sandhya. Hello. Yes, ma'am. I can. Hello. 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 Hello, ma'am. Okay. I can hear you. Uh, what happened? Hello. Ma uh, can you hear me? Yes, ma'am. I can hear you, ma'am. But your voice is so. Low voice. What happened? And something with the internet, I think. Uh, okay, okay, okay. Uh, so, uh, polyunsaturated fatty acid with hydroxyl ion that converted to carbon-centered free radical R dot plus water. Hmm? Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Okay. What happens? There, there is a chance. We already explained. There is a chance for the production of carbon-centered radical or lipid peroxide radical, ROO dot. That is known as lipid peroxide radical. Hmm? So yes. from this uh, reaction, RH plus OH dot that creates carbon-centered free radicals plus water, and there is also a chance for the production of peroxide radical. Yes. Okay. And these two radicals, R dot and R O O dot, are degraded into one particular form. The name is very important: malon dialdehyde. Malon dialdehyde. Okay. Yes, ma'am. Okay. So there is entry of one free radical that reacts with polyunsaturated fatty acid and create two more free radicals. That is R dot and R O O dot, and they are degraded into malon dialdehyde. Yes, ma'am. Okay, then what happens to the carbon-centered radical and also peroxyl radical that can attack again, which can attack another polyunsaturated lipid molecule? Mm -hmm. okay. That reaction continues. R dot then oxygen and forms R O O dot. Yes. R O O dot plus R H that reacts with uh, that converts R O H plus R dot. That is reaction two and reaction three. Okay. Yes, okay. Then, what happens? The next result of reaction two and three is the conversion of R to R O H. There is a simultaneous production of carbon-centered radical to peroxyl radical R O O dot. Yes, ma'am. Okay. Here, the continuous production of this uh, peroxyl radicals and carbon-centered radicals of course. Okay. Yes. Yes, ma'am. This would lead to continuous production of hydrogen peroxide with the consumption of equimolar quantities of PUSA. One free radical generate another free radical in the neighboring molecule. That particular reaction, chain reaction is known as propagation. We use that term, propagation. Ma'am, hmm? repeat propagation again. Okay. Uh. Propagation is otherwise known as chain reaction. Okay. Okay. We start with one free radical and produce two free radical. That is carbon-centered free radical and peroxyl free radical. Okay. That again produce again and again. Yes, ma'am. Okay. That one free radical generate another free radical in the neighboring molecule. A chain reaction or propagation is initiated. This is sometimes called death kiss by free radicals. Okay. Okay. There is no end. When it reacts, that creates some more free radicals. Yes, That's why it is known as is by free radical. Okay. Then accumulation of such, such lipid damages leads to the destruction of fine architecture and integrity of our membranes. Yes? Yes, yes So this free radical enters and they act, produce so many other free radicals, mainly two carbon-centered free radical and peroxyl radical. Hmm? Yes. And also produces hydrogen peroxide. So the chain reaction or propagation is continuous that will damage the fine architecture and integrity of membranes. Yes. Clear? Yes. Okay. Then how can we terminate this process? The termination phase. Okay. Yes. The reaction would proceed unchecked 
till a peroxy radical reacts with another peroxy radical to form inactive products the reaction will continue and that will proceed unchecked till a peroxy radical reacts with another peroxy radicals to form inactive products you can see from the uh, reaction roo dot that reacts with roo dot okay reaction 4a yes, and uh, this carbon centered free radical r dot plus r dot that reacts with and forms rr that is the last moment okay mm -hmm. continues for a long time and that final stage yes only the reaction with two um, free radicals occurs okay yes. the yes. same type of almost the same type of free radicals combines together and forms inactive products yes okay yes so here we discuss uh, clinical significance three sig clinical significance and also lipid peroxidation now it's the time for interaction uh, okay there is no questions uh, i will ask you questions so what are the three clinical significance we discuss today uh, uh, what is it um, first one we 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 discuss this thing hmm? uh, oh, uh, aging process skin okay, aging process then skin disease and uh, uh, carcinogenesis and treatment shock okay. reduction injuries okay which type of medicine is introduced uh, and produce some uh, difficulties surveillance okay ah, at the yes. time of psoriasis and the leukoderma leukoderma okay. then at the time of aging there is a chance for the at uh, the free radical attacks on brain parkinson's disease alzheimer's disease multiple sclerosis okay yes and then next what is about the main topic what happens in lipid peroxidation explain uh, lipid peroxidation in the, there are there are uh, uh, free radical induced peroxidation of uh, membrane lipids that occur in three uh, stages uh, initiation propagation and termination initiation is uh, interaction between uh, uh, interaction of pufa molecule with free radicals uh, to produce uh, uh, carbon centered radicals uh, r dot and roo dot what is roo dot uh, peroxyl radical okay yeah, a peroxyl radical yes okay carbon yeah. radical and peroxyl uh, lipid peroxide radical um, uh, then it it uh, undergoes uh, propagation phase uh, in propagation phase that reacts with uh, uh, oxygen forming peroxide radical mm -hmm. peroxyl radical when uh, it reacts with oxygen again creates what uh, 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 Peroxide okay, from the slide. Yeah. What happens? Yeah, again, uh, when it reacts with oxygen, it forms peroxyl radical. And uh, carbon-centered radical reacts with oxygen, forms peroxyl radical. When peroxyl radical reacts with, it forms carbon-centered radical. Radical. What final products after the degradation of uh, carbon-centered and peroxyl radical? Uh, hydrogen and this thing. uh final products uh, that are degraded into a special compound this carbon centered free radical and uh, peroxyl radical degraded into a special compound that compound is known as you can read from the slide ama uh, they are degraded into mal uh, malonyl dialdehyde that word is important okay uh, that is used for the assessment In yes. our laboratory, malon dialdehyde. Malon dialdehyde. Yes. Sir. It is not malon aldehyde. It is malon dialdehyde. M D A. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Okay. Malon, malon dialdehyde. Okay. Yes, so, sir. what is the meaning of propagation phase? Actually, it is. Ah, uh, that means it propagate like. Uh, what is meant by propagation? Chain reaction. Chain reaction. Yes. Sir. Okay. Yes. So, uh, what happens? Uh, this in case of one free radical generates another free radical in the neighboring molecule. Yes. So, otherwise known as death kiss by free radicals. Okay. Yes. Okay. Uh, then, what happens to our lipid membrane? Ah, uh, accumulation of lipids. Mm. That leads to the destruction of uh, 
fine architecture and integrity, integrity of, our of our membranes okay then how this termination occurs in the case of lipid peroxidation how this termination phase occurs uh, uh it will be unchecked till uh, peroxy radical react with another peroxy radical to form inactive products okay roo dot that is peroxyl radical per plus peroxyl radical carbon centered free radical plus carbon centered free radical or peroxyl radical plus carbon centered free radical okay. yes so yes i think it is clear our lipid peroxidation is clear yes huh? yes any doubt you can ask me now we are entering into antioxidant uh no i will okay uh short note is very important short note is lipid oxidation yes okay. ma'am reaction of free, when short, uh, short essays can be asked about free radicals and the very important question is lipid peroxidation the, which are the three phases and what are the reactions occurs in this three phases and what is the result that is the complete destruction of lipid membrane the integrity and the architecture of membrane is lost okay Okay. So this is very important. We repeat that word lipid peroxidation in our part one. We don't know what is lipid peroxidation. Now we are familiar. What happens by the action of free radicals? Okay. Yes. Mm -hmm. Yes. Next, next we are entering into one special uh, area that I already told you. Uh, all the free radicals are degraded into a particular compound, mainly to a particular compound. That compound is known as Hmm? Melon dialdehyde. MDA. MDA. Okay. MDA. So, uh, most of the products of lipid peroxidations are unstable products. The last phase, termination phase, that creates an end products, end products of lipid peroxidation. That is carbonyls, esters, alkanes, alkenes, and mostly they are converted into MDA. Okay. Yes, ma'am. So. How uh, after the action of free radical or after an oxidative stress, free radicals action occurs, lipid peroxidation occurs, and the final products are obtained. So we have to assess how much oxidative stress occur in our body, or what is the amount of free radicals in our body, or what are the results of free radicals. So we use this MDA for assessment. Yes. Okay. So. Melonal melon dialdehyde. Always I repeat the word melon aldehyde. It's wrong. MDA melon dialdehyde that is used as biochemical marker for the assessment of lipid peroxidation. Yes, sir. Mm -hmm. so then we are entering into the test. MDA and other aldehyde that reacts with the term is very important. Thio barbituric acid. Thio barbituric acid. Okay. Yes, sir. Okay, and produce red colored products. Okay. Yes. Okay. So, what is this uh, red color product? It is known as T bars. T bars means thio barbituric acid reactive substances. Okay. Okay. Yes. Which can be measured colorimetrically. You are familiar with colorimeter? Uh, <laughs> I know, ma'am, but I don't. Oh. Uh, Estimation of uh, protein, estimation of glucose, use calorimeter, we use calorimeter. Yes, ma'am. Uh, which are the methods you conducted in laboratories for the estimation of glucose? Uh, <laughs> Do you remember our practicals? Practicals. <laughs> Four month gap. Yes, I don't remember. Biuret method for protein. Uh, uh, Biuret method, yes. Jeffrey's method for creatinine. Uh, 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 yes. Orange yellow color. Yes. Then uh, in case of GOD POD method for I think GOD POD method for glucose. Glucose. Uh? Yes, ma'am. Glucose is okay. GOD POD. Ah, yeah, glucose <laughs> estimation. Biuret okay. Method. Uh, protein. Protein. Okay. Hmm? Yes, okay. Then use Jeffrey's method for creatinine. Okay. Yes. Okay. Dam method, diacetyl monoxide method for urea. Okay. Yes, ma'am. TCG method for albumin. Mm -hmm. uh, and all that. 
Bromocrystal green indicator, BCG method. Oh. Yes? I yes, but in all those things, uh, okay, so, uh, leave it. In yeah. all those things, we create some color. Yes, ma'am. By adding some reagents, we create some color. Yes, ma'am. Hmm? Okay. Yes. Then the color of the solution is directly proportional to the amount of the substance present in that solution. Yes, ma'am. One particular law is there, it is known as Beer Lampert's law. Um, oh, yes, hmm? yes, <laughs> remember all things uh, practical area colorimeter. <laughs> okay, <laughs> so uh, here we use uh, now our topic is melon dialdehyde. Hmm? Yes, ma'am. Hmm? Yes, what is the importance of melon dialdehyde? It is used for assessment of lipid peroxidation. Uh, what does malon dialdehyde, how it is produced in our body? Um, um, that, that, um, I don't know. Uh, uh, almost all the pro products of lipid peroxidation are unstable. The final product of lipid peroxidation is MDA. Yes, ma'am. Yes? Yes. yes. Okay. Now it is clear? Yeah. Then only we are entering into assessment. Okay, what is malone dialdehyde? That is very important. Okay. Okay. Huh? okay. Yes. So MDA and other aldehyde that reacts with thiobarbituric acid and produce red colored products that namely P bars. P -bars. Okay. That is thiobarbituric uh, acid reacting substances. Reacting substances. Hmm? Yes. It yes. can be measured colorimetrically. Okay. Yes. And definition of serum MDA is most often used to assess oxidative stress and free radical damage to the body. Okay. Okay. Yes, ma'am. Okay. That's about our malon dialdehyde that is used as a marker for lipid peroxidation. Yes, ma'am. 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 Yes